Hello everyone, my name is Cap and welcome back to the channel and welcome to day one of the new Wasteland Warrior series. That's right, we're doing a Wasteland only survival here. And I'm going to go ahead and say this right off the bat so people aren't confused or mistaken. I am not doing a permadeath series right now for certain because there's a couple things. A, I have never spent a tremendous amount of time in the wasteland. I know a little bit about it, of course, from what is in Navis game, but I've never really ventured into it. It's not some place I typically want to go on a regular basis. And two, I am doing this via the Nitrogen map creator. I went through and created a wasteland only map, and then I went in and used Combo Pack 24, I think it was, maybe 25, whatever the newest one was. So it added a butt ton of POIs in here. So not only are we in a world that's I've never been in before, in a region I don't go very often, and we're gonna have tons of POIs, I don't know. So me doing a, um, permadeath series well that could end up being just a one series or a one video series and i really don't want that to happen so that's where we're starting off with this so in case by anybody's wanting to try and play the same world uh you're not really going to be able to unless for some reason i like zip this world together and give it to you to be able to download and start playing yourself because it's not generated with a seed all right so let's get a few things going here our basic first day level stuff that we got to do just to kind of get this out of the way Let's see, this stuff, uh, this right here, can't do anything with it. Uh, yeah, I'll get rid of that real quick. I'm going to put my torch down here real quick. All right, so sleeping bed, go ahead and put you on here and get that. Get that back up in our inventory and back. Good to go. All right, so now we need to gather one more stone. Now, I am going to be honest with you. I'm a little bit on the nervous side about playing a Wasteland-only series because, A, I know that there's things like dogs right off the bat. There's white walkers. There's snakes. And the other side of it is I have to constantly watch out for stuff like that, which could be a landmine. You never know if a hubcap in the wasteland is going to be a landmine or if it's going to be, you know, just a regular hubcap laying around. And it very well could be either one of them, but you never know. And that makes me nervous as hell because, well, you don't know. So... Anyway, um, this is something I've wanted to do since Alpha 18. I had talked about doing that after the uh, original Lone Survivor series. And I never ended up doing that because the original Lone Survivor series lasted all the way up until Alpha 19 came out. And so I just never got around to that. Alright, so what I need to do now is I was going to make some plant fiber shoes. Just because, you know, why not? Let me put you right over here. I'm going to put you down here in my belt just in case. And put you on here and wear those real quick. All right, so we cannot ca We can craft a club, can't we? Yeah, we can craft a wooden club. Get this going. That won't take very much longer. So, go ahead. And as I'm saying all that or whatever, like, if you are new to the channel or if you've been here for a little bit and you're not already, you know, make sure you're subscribed if this is something you want to be able to see some more of. And I don't want you to miss out on it. And, of course, if you hit the little bell, you'll get notified if a video goes live. But with that, I have to say there's a bit of a caveat, too. Sometimes, and it seems more frequently than not lately in seventy or in uh, YouTube, is that the notifications don't get sent out when they want to, or when I want them to, when the videos go live. Sometimes it's way after, sometimes it's not at all. So, if you're wanting to make sure you don't miss out on anything at all, then I would recommend you can also follow me on any of the social media. I post new videos on Twitter, on Instagram, on Facebook, on my Discord, and all of that is linked down below. So if you're just absolutely wanting to follow along with things going on or even just chat with me on a more regular basis, well, that's how you go about doing it. All right, so we need to make a primitive bow. Let's see, how many stone arrows can we make? Two. That's generally about how many you start off with here. All right, so we got those going on. Good to go. Now it wants us to gather some more wood, but at least we got a stone axe with us now. So let's get this tree chopped down real quick. And there we go. Might as well, uh, you know what, go ahead and take this real quick. Now there's going to be a few things that are going to be even more of a challenge than normal for me. Just because, let me see, how many can I craft? I'll do six since i got to get rid of one anyway. I like having these in my inventory down here just so I can use them to nerd pull up some places. All right, place you down right, chaw, and upgrade you once Dunskies. Now we can gather some more stones, which I think, if I'm not mistaken, can you get stone from this? Okay, got a couple more than I needed here, just so I can go ahead and repair this because, well, we need to anyway. And let's see, go ahead and get the campfire crafting, get it ready to go, and that should get us one step closer to completing this first level challenge. And ta-da! 
All right, so from that, we should be done, and we get our first set of skill points. All right, I've already been thinking about what I'm going to do with this is Lucky Looter. I definitely got to put one in there because I don't know where I'm going in this world, and I need to make sure I can get some good crap right off the bat. All right, then I want to go down here into Pummel Pete so I can get some better clubs and some better damage with clubs. Uh, sexy T-Rex. And then the other thing I was going to use it in was under, what was it going to be under? Healing Factor, I think it was. I'm trying to go back and forth between Iron Gut and Healing Factor just so I don't have to starve so much. That seems to be the biggest thing right now. I'm going to put it in, I'm going to put it in Iron Gut. Yeah, yeah, well, we're going to start with that. Now, also what I want to get to eventually is I'm going to start putting some skill points into uh, like Pummel Pete and into the Primitive Bow here, just, or into uh, Archer. That way I can make better archery stuff, a better bow and arrow and better clubs. Let me see now. Sh I should be able to make a level two club from here. Let me do that real quick. Let's see, we can scrap that one, put this one down here, and now we have a better club. That helps out quite a bit. All right, locate trader. No trader. Well, that's good, and I have to assume that there are traders in this world. Mostly just because the nitrogen generator said it was on default. I didn't change any of that. And uh, maybe it's just because the way nitrogen does it. it uh, I hope that's not the case. I, I really, really hope that's not the case. <laughs> Uh, but who knows? I'm going to be real careful up here. I'm going to try to make my way up this hill and see what kind of POIs we have up here. Time to kind of take a look around and see what kind of world we got. Ease into it. Make sure we have any dogs waiting to jump on us. That would suck to be attacked by a dog. All right, so we have this big blue house. Let's see, we got a smaller house over there. Looks like there, oh, there's like a torch on the, the ceiling up there. All right, oh, man. We got us a full freaking city over there. Oh, that's awesome. Man, we're going to have so much crap to have to explore. Or they're going to get to explore. All right, so since I'm going in with two arrows, basically, and I don't think I can make any more arrows. Can I make any more? I can make a whole one. Well, I guess three is better than two, but we're going to try and get into this house over here because it looks like it's a little bit smaller than this behemoth right over here. So I guess y'all guys just wish me the best of luck in this, and I'm hoping that this will last for a good little while, and I'm looking forward to playing this. I've been looking forward to doing this since I first mentioned doing it in Alpha, uh, Alpha 18. Again, we never got to do it over there, so, you know, ugh, there we go. This could be absolutely fantastic. Wait, I did see that torch over here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and take you real quick. That way I got an extra one. I didn't mean to open that. Now, since we are in the waste... Uh-oh. Hey, look. Stupid bird's already come to see us. Screw off, bird. All right. Where does it want us to... Oh, okay. We got a spot over there. A little spot on the roof here. Okay. All right. So we can make this jump pretty easily. What do we got over here? Weapon... Ba or a duffel bag with some painkillers. That could be very useful. That's pretty good. All right. So nothing there. Nothing there. Where do we go? Oh, no, 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 no. Dude, that's a good way to wake everybody up. Is anybody in here? Hang on. All right. Since I don't have any form of light... Oh, nice. We got bookshelves in here already. That's going to be great. Since I don't have any form of light, I'm going to have to rely on my torches to kind of light things up here. That is one of the things I thought of doing was to give myself a helmet. Oh, look. Check that out. I'll go ahead and just take that real quick. Can't repair anything, but I can definitely wear it. It's going to be great. To give myself a helmet light so you guys can be able to see a little bit better. But I thought, you know what? I'm not going to do that right off the bat. Bicycle handlebars schematic. Nice. Come on. Lots of good stuff. Ooh, a robot sledge schematic. Nice. It's Again, it's just the schematic, not the actual device itself. What do we have here? 10% more damage to humans. Well, I'll take it for the experience. We're not going to encounter any humans here. All right, let's see. Learn how to harvest coffins for bones, jewelry, and precious gems. That's pretty cool. Night Stalker, 10% more sneak damage at night. Well, right at the moment, we aren't going to be doing a whole lot of creeping around at night just because there's no chance in hell we're ever going to do anything useful on day one at night. But I'm glad they have confidence in me. All right, so we scrap this down, get a little bit of leather. Uh, we don't have a whole lot of stuff on us. I'm not going to worry about dropping things off right at the moment. Eh, just not going to do it. Okay, so what are the odds there's somebody in there? Go ahead and get an arrow knocked just in case. You know what? I hate to waste it, but I want to be able to see if there's anybody in there or not. Okay. So I'm going to try and go back and forth between my club and my torch so we can keep an eye on what's going on. You guys can see what's going on. But, you know, if I'm actually having to stay equipped with something, it'd be nice to have a fire mod, but I don't have one. Ooh, nice. Splint, some ammo to a gun I don't have. That'd be great to have a rifle or something. Nice. Fortitude plus one. I'll go ahead and wear those and wear these. 
And that will give me these. I can scrap these down. Give me a little bit of that fiber back. Not too bad. All right, let's have a look up here. Anything up? I can't jump between the two. I, I'm having to assume there's nothing in there. I'm not going to worry about that. All right, so we can go this way. Easy does it. Right, we got us a bedroom right over there with the hole in the floor. That door's locked. All right. Unlocked. Uh-oh. Okay. Somebody is somebody is alert. Are they in there? They're in there. Is that Owen Wilson? That is. I'm going to need you to go ahead and lay down, sir. Keep an eye on that. Make sure there's nobody in the... There we go. There we go. All right. Back to the torch. Now, I know you can use the torch as melee as well, and it works pretty damn good, actually, and has a chance to set them on fire. Uh, nitrate and empty jars, I'm not taking those with me now just because I'm limited on inventory space and definitely don't need it right at the moment. Uh, take that. Water's fine. I think I heard somebody crawling around in there, at least making some noise. More nitrate powder. Are they downstairs, upstairs? What's going on? Okay. Maybe they're outside. I don't know. Let's go have a look in here. Ooh, weather backpack. Come on, something good. Ooh, flashlight. You know, that's not terrible. That, that's not a terrible thing to have. I can put that down here real quick. It helps. I wish I could just, you know, already duct tape that to my freaking helmet. That would be great, but nope. Can't wait. Make sure I search these. Cloth's always good to have. You never know when you're going to need it. Ooh, what do we have in here? Ammo pile. More bullets. Okay, so he definitely didn't come in there. Oh, it's a crawler. That's just kind of creepy right there. He's on fire! Yeah, see, that's one of the things I like about the torches is that they work really good for melee. And, um, yeah, you know, you can always like, throw one on the wall real quick if you need to. So you can light up a room while you're beating some zombies down. And then pick it back up as you go along. Okay, so we came that way. So I'm kind of curious here, just because I've never tested this out. You're going to see it here in lifetime. 45 is the detection level. If I'm using a flashlight... It's at 36, and it's quite a bit brighter, actually. So, other than the fact that I get to have some, you know, uh, melee damage here that I cannot do with a freaking flashlight. Okay, so you want me to go in? Oh, where did you come from? It's Gary! Hey, what's up, dude? I'm going to come over here and set you on fire real quick. Let you just kind of cook for a minute. That's not Gary. That's Glenn. Come on, Cap, figure it out. I thought that was the mechanic for some reason. Ease in here real quick. All right, so there's a hole into this room. Oh, this is going to... Man, I'm really excited about this series. I, I really am. This is something that's, like I said, it's going to be a lot of fun. I think it's going to be a hell of a challenge. If I die, I die. I don't want to, and I'm going to try my best not to. But it could very well happen. Uh, you know what? Just in case, I'm going to make a ton of noise doing this, but... In case we need to get in and out of here real quick, I need to bust this open so we can get through this door in a quick, fast, and hurry motion. We can jump over this if we... No, we can't jump over that if we need to. Well, let's bust this open real fast. There we go. Now we can get in and out if something goes terribly wrong and we need to get out of that room real, real fast. I do have some crap on me I don't need, but we'll get worried about dropping that off here in a little bit. Okay, so that's just a dismembered idiot. It's hard to tell if any of these people are actual tr going to try and come alive or if they're just mangled pieces of bodies. There's some glass there. I definitely want to step on that. Something really good. Uh, I can take that. That's that's not too bad. Padded armor. Wait, click on it. There we go. Can wear that real quick. That'd be good. And empty jar. Don't really need specifically, but okay. I could beat that candle down, take it with me, but again, I'd rather just not have my inventory completely full of crap that I don't have to have right this second. Wait, did I? am I missing something here? Is this kind of the... Oh, holy hell! Oh, God. Oh, sweet Jesus. Okay, that sucked. We got hit by okay, broken arm. Can we use a can we use a splint on that perchance? Oh, a splinter cast will work. Okay, well I'm glad we found one. Go ahead and splint this, kinda of get it back up there a little bit. Oh, that sucked really bad, you stupid damn dog. I don't have anything for infections already. I mean we got it's a mild infection. It's already at one point four percent. That sucks. Antibiotics. Oh, that's gonna suck. 
All right, this has been a this is gonna be a good start to the series. I can feel it. That's nasty. All right, let's get a torch back out so we can see. Dang it, man! I can't believe. Oh, we did not react very good to that. Well, I'll be damned. There's some vitamins at least. That doesn't help a whole lot, but go ahead and use that just because. Ammo pile, something good. More ammo to a gun we don't have. Please be something good. Uh, stuff. Stuff. Let me see. We can take this. We can wear this and wear that. That's actually pretty good. Actually, scrap gloves are pretty good. Better than the padded gloves. Padded gloves provide a little bit better on the noise reduction versus these, but these definitely provide a lot better ammo. I'll go ahead and take those. Scrap those. Take everything else. All right, let's get into the Shamway Foods and maybe, just maybe there'll be something like, I don't know, antibiotics in there. Oh, this is a rough start to the day. That's for sure. Something good. Um, Yeah, a whole bunch of things that don't really help us that much. A little bit. Health, we can go and eat one of these real quick just to kind of get it back up. These, not without having some... Oh, we already had some vitamins. We can actually take those. Go and get this. That actually takes our life down a little bit, so we probably shouldn't do that again. Stupid. You know, for some reason, I remember the old sham sandwiches. Maybe I'm thinking of previous versions or whatever. It used to be a good boost on your health on top of things, but apparently not anymore. And I just screwed the pooch on that one. See, there's the pooch down there. All right, I do need to get rid of a few things that I have on here that I don't need. I'm not going to have them. A need for right now plant fire back and get rid of let's see paper stuff like this I don't have to have blunderbuss ammo I'm assuming I'll probably find some a blunderbuss not too distant future so I think that's everything in this house let's, uh, we'll go back to the flashlight here just because it does light up pretty well we'll check out downstairs now that works we'll just punch it with a flashlight all right let's see if we can ease down here just a little bit I can't believe we got attacked by a stupid dog already. That's just freaking tragic. Absolutely tragic. All right, so it wants us to go that way. Let's we'll keep an eye on the things around us real quick. Woo, this is going to be a this is a tough... Uh-oh. Nope. Well, let's go back up here. Jump. There we go. I need to be able to make a bunch more arrows, but I'm missing all the stuff I need to make arrows. Don't hit me. Climb. There you go. I have to try and thin the herd a little bit here. Yeah. Back up. Back up. Back up. Okay, make sure I'm in the door. Bounce down there. Catch him on fire. No? Go ahead and hit you again. See if I can catch him on fire a little bit. At least they're struggling to get up this stupid thing like I was. Okay, so they're both on fire. That's good. All right, get a little bit of a power hit there. All right, that's good. So she's down. He's down but not out. And now he's down and out too. Okay. So, we should be okay if we can find some uh, antibiotics or even some honey to get rid of some of this disease we have going on here, this infection. All right, just keep an eye out around the corner. All right, so wants us to go that way. More ammo pile. It'd be great to have a gun. Blunder, even a blunderbuss. The things are loud. They take forever to reload, but at least they're something. I was hoping maybe. Search shoes. And no, I like the boots I'm wearing now. Okay, so this is the front porch. All right, we, at least we know where the front of the building is now, and it's wide open. Okay, so is this... Okay, no, 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 I was about to say, that's not the stairs we fell down earlier. Let's see what we got in here real quick. Oh, nice, that's good for, like, lacerations. A jacket, and go ahead and wear that. Uh, I don't think I can make a pocket mod just yet, can I? I can't, a clothing pocket mod. I can make it. I gotta have duct tape. That's what I'm missing. So I do have everything else I need. Leather, duct tape, which I cannot make duct tape yet either because you gotta have something better. Whoop. <laughs> it's not duct tape, you dork. Glue here. I know I could probably make some glue at the campfire. Oh, man. All right. We're doing okay still. We're doing okay. Let's uh, get through this kitchen real fast, though. Ooh, nice. Goldenrod tea recipe right on off the bat. That's great. And a cooking grate. A cooking grill. Alright, well, that's everything in the kitchen. Anything in the fridge or the counters next to it? Nope, nope. Let's have a real quick look at what we got here because I know we can get rid of a few things. Plastic I don't need right at the moment. Empty jars I don't need right at the moment. I'll regret doing that later. We got a wrench so we'll be able to use that to take apart some things nicely. 
Uh, let's see, I don't have enough stones on me to be able to make a campfire, which I don't really need one anyway, but since I got the cooking grill, it'd be nice to know that I could make one. Keep an eye on thing here. All right, let's get some free wood. Because free wood's always good. Check the cabinet over here. Uh, more stuff we don't need. I know it would be great to have it, but we don't need it right the moment. It's just, it's pointless right the moment. You know what? I'm getting rid of that. I don't want you over here taking up my space. Somebody outside? Is that a bear? Holy sweet hell. We need to go back around this way. I hope he, wait. Okay, alright, let's, uh, hope he doesn't figure out how to get through that door. Let's go back upstairs real quick. Okay, so that's the downstairs that we just came down, uh, when we fell through the floor over there. So I think we're done in this house. I'm sure some people will happily tell me I did that wrong, but you know what? Hang on. Oh, man, this is going to be... If there's a bear out there, I'm not going to be able to leave. <laughs> okay, I don't think I can nerd pull all the way up there. Uh, let's see, I might be able to do... Hang on, you're just going to have to bear with me for a minute. Get it? You know, because there's a bear over there. Okay, I made it back on the roof. This is good to go. All right, now let's go over here. and I want to see if there is a bear up here. Or over here. Look, it's a zombie bear. That little bastard is trying to get us in our first house. That's kind of messed up, you know it, Mr. Bear? But you know what I need to do? Just because... Oh, let's just do that. That's right there. That, that works. All right, so what I need to do is I should be able to... Maybe I can... No, I can't do what I was thinking about doing. Okay, so if, can I get you, like, right... No, I can't get you to float in the middle there? Dang it. Okay. Well, it's not what I wanted to do, but I'm going to throw a sleeping bag down on the top here. Just in case I die, I can spawn back into a spot that's moderately safe. Now, we got to deal with the stupid bird still. Now, I don't have enough arrows, nor can I make enough to deal with this bear. you got to have... Oh, good lord. Look, there's dogs over there. There's another bear right over there. we got this bear who's stuck on the fence. I hear a dog back here somewhere. Oh my good god. Okay, if we get down from here, we're going to have to... We're going to have some problems. Let's see, if I jump down on this side, there's nothing over there. I mean, i got a building right over here, but I don't know this building. And this is the side where the bears are. They would chase me down, and this would be a one-day death for certain. So we are definitely not going down there. Um, let's see, I don't think I have enough stuff to make any more arrows... Nope, I was kind of hoping I'd be able to make some stone arrows, but of course I'm missing small stone. The best I could do is make two more anyway. Uh, there's probably things I can beat down inside to help me out. I should probably look into that. Oh, this is going to suck. Because if I fall down here, they can technically get inside. Like this idiot right there. Ah, oh, man. Okay, so we can't go back down there. It's just, we just can't do it. That's a good way to die. Okay, so that bear, he got bored and wandered off. I'm going to assume that's what happened. Oh. <laughs> this is this is a rather 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 crappy, I have to say, because there's not a whole lot of play. Okay, so there's that bear didn't wander off. He's over there. I meant the other bear. I guess he wandered off. But I see I see dogs right over there. I can hear dogs all around me. Oh, holy crap! There's one right there. Oh, damn it! Okay, surely he can't make this jump. Yes, I used my first aid bandage. I wasn't bleeding yet, but my life was already getting a little bit low. I needed it to go back up some. Okay. I don't know how he got up here. But he managed to get up here somehow or another. Come over so I can hit you. I gotta make sure I don't fall off this thing here. Okay, this is uh, this is going really well. Cap, hey, Wasteland Only Survival Series. That sounds like a fantastic idea. Can I ease down just a little bit? Gotcha. I don't know why you sound like a T-Rex when you die, but okie dokie. Okay, alright, so. One dog down. I need to get rid of this just so I can get in and out of this room a little bit better. <laughs> okay, was that the dog that was up here, down here, over here, in here, whatever? How? How? How did a dog get up here? Did, did he? Oh, hold on. Did he do that? Yeah, he beat a... Look at that smart damn dog. He beat a hole in it right there. Alright, well, we're going to have to do this. We got, we got to do some more looting. 
that is not a place we're going to today for any stretch of the imagination. We don't have enough time to do that, and no, absolutely not. I'm going to try. Wish me luck. Check the mailbox. Paper, don't need that. You know what, here, I'll leave some, I'll leave some broken glass for you there. How about that? And I tell you what I will do here. I do because I have a little bit of wood on me here. I should be able to make a regular chest. I can put this on the front porch and I can drop off some of this stuff so I'm not almost encumbered. Okay, I probably should have done this on the roof, but you know what? I don't care at the moment. I'm just trying not to get killed by something. Let me drop some stuff off. Okay, good to go. A little bit over there. So I'm going to try it. I need to get over here if I can and not die. I need to get a bunch of rocks. I need to get a little bit more wood. I need to get not get eaten by a bear. Oh, man. This is a bit of a challenge. This is uh, this may end up being a let's see how many times Cap can die kind of series. Come on, a bunch more feathers. One feather that works. And that egg we can't really do anything with it. But let's go ahead and get a little bit more wood. How much do we have on this? We got a decent amount. But let's go ahead and get some more. Ow! What the hell did you hit? It? Oh, stupid damn bird! <laughs> Oh my god, man. Oh my god. This is absolutely tragic. This is this is going to be a terrible, difficult series for Cap. I can already see it. And I'm hoping you guys are going to enjoy it because I'm probably going to get my butt handed to me. I'm just checking. Might as well check and see if any of these cars can be looted. Oh, hell, there's another bird. Stupid bird. All right, so I have this shiv here. Let's see, I should be able to get your carcass get some feathers from this the rotten meat i don't need anytime soon the bones and uh, i think what well, you need bones and murky water and you can cook those in a campfire and get glue and then glue and oh hell okay that's just a regular zombie i thought i heard a dog no dogs okay we've got just a regular zombie here i guess we can go try and take him out oh baby hey what's up dude you're are you alone you didn't bring your pet with you are you dead, man? Sanka, you dead, man? Yeah, man. All right, let's see. Keep an eye out for other things trying to eat our butts here. I need more rocks. Oh, hell, there's a dog. Not, not going to mess with that thing. Please don't come mess with me. I am not equipped for this. I have no more arrows, which I'd love to be able to make a ton of. I need a buttload of feathers, which we just get a sum. Oh, we got a chunk of feather. We need a bunch of rocks, what we need, which I'm... There's a small one. Who's screaming at me now? Oh, it's Lois. Hey, what's up? You didn't bring any pets with you, did you? I'm done with dogs, bears, and birds today. I have, ow! You stupid son of a biscuit. Lay down, you damn dirty whore. <laughs> Alright, we're going to have to beat on some bricks. We need a bunch of rocks, so let's just get to it. Okay, for whatever reason... I was sitting here beating on the bricks. There's a dog walking around right over there. I don't know why he hasn't seen me yet. He's coming right... There he is. Okay, all right. There we go. All right, you stupid dog. Ow! Please be unlocked. Oh, hell, that didn't work. Nope, we're gonna die. We're gonna die from a dog. Don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. Holy sweet hell. All right, we're going to we're gonna have to do this. Yes, this is a bit of a cheap tactic, but I'm not sure if you've noticed we're a little bit low on health, and we have to hope this dog cannot get through the top of this thing here. Oh, please don't be able to get through. Okay. We got rid of the dog. <laughs> oh, my God. This is terrible, man. This is absolutely terrible. I don't even know what to do from this point here. This is just absolutely bonkers. How much... How much would it take to be able to get... Is somebody else coming? Might as well repair this a little bit here. Okay. Let's see what we can do here. You know what? Let me go ahead and put you right there just so I can kind of keep you lit up. I can use the other one. This may be where we have to hang out for the night because it looks like we got some idiots coming in over here. We are extremely low on life. How much, do we have any food that's good for health? Plus seven, plus seven. Might as well go ahead and eat this then. Get that going up just a little bit. Oh, my God. Hey, you. Glenn. It's over here, dude. All right, I need you to stay right there for a second. I'm going to catch you on fire if I can. If you don't mind. 
There you go. And he went down too. All right, we should probably go ahead and repair this while we can because you know as well as I do that we'll end up doing something stupid and uh, zombies will be up in here all up in our space and stuff tonight. All right, so we can, I can bust this out real quick. That will allow me to be able to get in and out of this room real quick. If everything goes tits up, I can probably try and get up right here. But now that I'm thinking about it, I have to make sure that that little doorway right over there doesn't cause me any kind of grief too but at least we're on this part of the roof here so hopefully their pathfinding won't make them come find me really really easily or who else is over here is it just you all right I, I can't make any more arrows i don't i mean i can here hang on i should be able to make a few stone arrows let me make a bunch of these i can make 15 that'll save me enough arrows to be able to make a campfire there's enough stones to make a campfire all right, so I think he's going to be in pretty soon. He's got just a little bit more. We'll let him stumble around in here. Holy sweet crap, man. Uh, yeah, I'm uh, I'm going to need to put some work into getting... I don't have anything I can eat anyway. I got this one thing of sham here, and that's it. Glass, get rid of you. Don't need you there. This is nice to have. Let me see. I'll put you right over there. Let me see. I should... Well, all the cloth is in my thing downstairs. Hang on. should be able to beat this down real quick. All right, so from you just hang on one second, okay, dude. Let me see. I need to make some bandages. Let's see. I'll make three of those. If nothing else, they help stop bleeding if things go bad. All right. So I need to try and set you on fire again, just to kind of get you out of my way. Yeah, I know you're unhappy and you're kind of ugly too, but it is what it is. No big deal, dude. Come on. One more. There we go. Holy sweet hell. Holy hell. Oh my good. Okay, alright. So we got a couple bandages on us. This will at least help stop bleeding. That's all it does. It doesn't do anything else. Stop bleeding. No health, but it stops bleeding. I'm going to go ahead and put you down here just in case we need you real fast. I'm so glad they added two more slots to the tool belt. We've needed that for a long, long time. And now we finally have it. Okay. Well, I was hoping to be able to do a little bit more looting in this one, but that's not going to happen. We got a dog over there. I'd like to be able to hit up that building, even though I don't know what it is. And we know that the front gate's open because we got attacked when we ran in there trying to trap the dog, and that didn't really work very well. I'll put you right there just in case. Maybe it'll throw off the pathfinding. All right, so yeah, we are in this house. This has been an interesting first day. I'm going to just chill here for the night. Kind of hope I can stay hidden, keep this thing upgraded as long as possible, beat things that come in here if we need to um it, you can't get any kind of actual food from the zombie dogs here at least i don't you just get rotten flesh from them Ooh, i knocked his head off that's yucky so that's not going to help anything but i guess i'm gonna go ahead and wrap this one up here because there's not much else we can do from his but i do hope you guys enjoyed this if you did do me a favor and leave a like on it again if you're new here and you're not already make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos and we will see you guys in the next one